How to set up a tropical fish tank. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Fish keeping is a popular hobby all over the world. Many people find that watching the movement of fish is a good way to relax and unwind. And fish are relatively easy pets to care for. Even children and novices can set up a fish tank, but it's always a good idea to seek advice from your local fish retailer, books and experienced aquarists. We've come to Woodford Aquatics in London to learn how to set up a freshwater tropical aquarium. Step one, you will need a fish tank with a cover and a light, a heater, a thermometer, a filtration system, an air pump, gravel, dechlorinator as per instructions on the packet, a bucket, decorations, some aquatic plants, and of course your fish. Step two, the tank. There are many different types and sizes of tanks available, and these days they are often sold as complete all-in-one packages that include all the accessories you will need. Seek advice from your fish retailer about which tank to buy, as this will determine the type and number of fish you can keep. Start by washing out your tank with clean, warm water without detergent. Position it on a surface that will not buckle and that is sturdy enough to take the tank's weight when full. It is usually best to use a stand or cabinet which is purpose-built for fish tanks especially if you have a large tank. Step three, adding gravel. Always use aquarium gravel from a pet shop as this will be safe for your fish. Wash the gravel until the water runs clear. Then spread it evenly in the tank. Step four, decorations. There are a variety of decorations available for aquariums. Rocks, driftwood and novelty decorations can all add to the visual appearance of a fish tank. Rinse the decorations in tap water and then place them into the tank. You can also attach a plain or printed backdrop to the back of your tank. Step five, install equipment. Install a filtering system into your tank. Fish produce large amounts of waste, which needs to be filtered out of the water, otherwise it will become toxic. There are several different types of filtration systems available. They can be located inside the tank, outside the tank or under the gravel. It's also important that the surface of the water is agitated so that oxygen can enter the tank water. In most cases, the filtration system will be able to do this, but sometimes it's necessary to install a separate air pump which will produce air bubbles in the water. Your retailer will be able to advise you which equipment is the most appropriate. Step six, heating. The crucial difference between a tropical and cold water tank is that tropical tanks need to be heated. As a general rule, your heater will need to have one watt of power for every litre of water in your tank. Set it to the appropriate temperature for the fish you want to keep. When choosing different species of tropical fish to keep together, choose species that thrive in the same temperature of water. Also put a thermometer in the tank and check regularly that the temperature is correct. Step 7. Add water. Fill your tank up with cold tap water. Top tip. Place a bowl into the gravel and pour the water into the bowl. This will stop the gravel displacing from the force of the water. Most tanks will have a water line indicating where you should fill it to. Add some dechlorinated to the water. This will make the water safe for your fish. Step eight, wait. Switch on the filter and heater and then wait for about two days before adding plants or fish. This will give the tank time to settle and warm up to the correct temperature. Step nine, plants. After a couple of days, your tank is ready to be planted. There is a wide variety of aquatic plants available and your retailer will advise you which are appropriate for your aquarium. Rinse new plants under tap water and then plant them into the gravel in your tank. It's a good idea to remove some tank water before planting the plants to prevent spillage and then return the water to the tank afterwards. If the water is murky after planting, allow some time for the filter to clear it before adding fish. Step 10, adding fish. You are now ready to go out and buy your fish. For detailed instructions on how to add the fish to your aquarium, watch Video Jug's film, How to Introduce New Fish into a Fish Tank. Congratulations, you are now an aquarist. Done.